All right, guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of All About Life. In today's video, we are going to talk about a hot, hot topic. Jonathan, you want to lead the lead, lead the discussion this time? We're gonna say why women are single today, and we're gonna get into we're gonna get into all the juicy details. We're gonna tell you the reason why, and we're gonna get straight to the point. Let's hop into it. Women keep women single. Okay, okay. Jonathan, you want to elaborate on that? Yup, little simple things like the ninety day rule for good men, by the way. Because men that are not good, men that ain't yo, shit, they, yo, they, they'll tell the yo, women, fuck them. The, the, the good men get the whole Ten Commandments. <laughs> and I'm not even playing. <laughs> thou should not, thou should not do this, oh, thou should not. People, no, I mean no offense by it, but you know, they're all a good human. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. A woman will bring out the Ten Commandments to you if you're boyfriend material. But if she's sexually into you and wants to fuck your brains out, she out throws the, it out the window. Those rules don't matter. There are no rules. Yep. There are none. Yep. They make they make them for for the, the, the quote unquote good guys and they break them for the bad boys or for the people they're attracted to. By the way, they'll break them for the guys that they consider ain't shit. I've literally had a woman tell me this, and you 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 were there mm -hmm. over the phone. We had a conversation because I'm not gonna lie, this was a couple years back, right? Mm -hmm. About a couple years, like 2019 or 2020, like 2019, Around 2020. There. Mm -hmm. there was this girl I was seeing. You know, she told me that she was sexually into me. We had a lot of nice combo. The combo was sexualized. But after we met, it was like pulling teeth just to get a kiss from her, which I'm glad I didn't because her breath was kicking. And, and, yeah. I, and I told him, I was like, yo, I have a feeling this girl was just sucking some dick. Yo. It was bad, bro. Yo. It was bad because it smelled like semen. Like I know what cum oh. smells like, like dried up cum in her no, mouth. It's straight up disrespect. It was disrespect. Well, so well, I'm glad because when I went in for the kiss, she kind of backed away and I, uh, and I got a whiff of, of, of her breath. It was bad. Mm -hmm. So after that, we didn't, you know, I didn't try going for no more kisses, but I tried in the beginning. But then I noticed at the end of the night, it was like, you know, I had my hand on her thighs. She had her hands wrapped around me. And I was like, yo, why don't we go back to my place? And she was like, oh, it's too early for that. And so I told her, I was like, what you mean is too early? She's like, well, I mean, you you said that you wanted to get to know me. So we're going to get to know each other. It's going to be. And she told me that there are steps and that we're going to take our time getting to know each other. Take our time. Like I said, she's adding rules. She's adding rules on top of rules. Even after she would have known for, for a longer time, for like two or three weeks, even a month. She would have put yet another step on top of that because he knows now that she wasn't attracted to him. So she was going to make as many rules as she needed to to take advantage. And when she felt like she got enough from him, maybe she'll give him something. Pity maybe. pussy. Pity, maybe, pity maybe, pussy. Maybe, maybe a kiss on the cheek after the date. With that cum, with that cum breath. <laughs> <laughs> and my guy wasn't having it. He just said, fuck it, deuces. Yeah. You're not worth my time. So dig this. After this, this is like a little story time mixed into this <laughs> segment. Yeah. So dig this. Later on, I ended up going to Jonathan's house. We're chilling. And so I was like, yo, bro, we're having a... I'm still having a back and forth with this girl. And so I'm like, yo, bro, she says she's going to call me. So I, I put it on speaker and I just told him just to hush up a bit because I was like, yo, she's going to start talking. So I was like, was just stay quiet. Though, but... <laughs> so I asked her. I was like, yo, okay, let's be real. There are the guys that you fuck. There are the guys that you make weight. And then there are guys that you are not, not attracted whatsoever, meaning that they are forever friend zone. That's what I like to call it, mm -hmm. forever friend zone, because they friend zone themselves. Like I say to you guys, a woman can't friend zone you. You friend, your, you friend zone yourself. Because yep. if a woman doesn't want to fuck with you, guess what? Deuces. You <laughs> always tell a woman, deuces, I'm gone. You always got to be willing to walk away. That's what we preach as well. That's what we do. So and you don't waste your time. She's flaking on you and I'm replying to your text. Don't even hit that chick off. Forget she exists, guys. Forget it. Never, nothing's gonna change your mind. Nothing. Exactly. Don't put no effort. Don't pedestalize a chick. That happens because you guys pedestalize a chick. You make an idea in your mind that the chick likes you, and she doesn't even like you that way. So this is why this woman is single. Because we're talking about the whole narrative of why women yeah. are single today, right? This woman tells me after I broke it down that way, she said, "Yeah, you're actually right." Well, I see you as boyfriend material. So you're in that boyfriend material box. The guy that I told you that I fucked when I went on a trip because I got, I did get a little upset because I told her, I was like, oh, you, didn't you tell me you fucked a guy when you went on, on your little, uh, I forgot where she went, but she went to some, a cruise or something, uh, right? yeah, it was, uh, she, we, we went to, um, or she, well, I, we didn't go because I didn't, I, I knew her, but you know, she went on a Cancun. 
She went to her Cancun trip. She fucked two guys. Two guys during that weekend. Spot on seeing them. She met one guy at the bar, at the cruise bar, and then she met another guy when she was like partying and hanging out. And she felt very open, because I'm a guy that I allow women to open up. She felt very open to tell me how she fucked those two guys. But with me, oh, I had to wait. I had to wait. I had to wait weeks, yeah, months, yeah, who yeah, knows? She had a master lock on those legs. That's what it meant. Correct. For me, because I'm not the guy yeah, that she wanted to fuck. Got, he don't got the combination, guys. I don't got the combination, right? But this is what I said. There's a category for men that you would fuck. Yep. There's a category for men that you make them wait, which AKA, that was her boyfriend. And then the category that, that you, you don't get nothing. There's not. absolutely nothing. And so she had the audacity to but say... Guys, guys, let, let me, yeah. Absolutely nothing. She will still let you waste your time, take her on dates, act like she's interested in your life. That, that's still nothing, but you guys are investing more into her because they value your non-sexual attention, guys. That's what we stress all the time. You got to take her on platonic days, wasting your money, wasting your time, wasting your emotional investment. Not getting what you Checking want. Checking up on her, like, how was your day, all this other bullshit. That's not anywhere where you want to go. Good morning, queen. Grand white, grand, grand rising. <laughs> I mean, shit. That is the last of the woman, like we said again. That ass. That's what's going on, okay? But you, my good buddy, old pal, you're not getting anything, okay? So the thing is, is that this girl, she broke it down and she said, yeah. I'm making you wait because I see you as boyfriend material. She said, when I'm ready, I'm ready. You heard. You had the conversation. What else did you hear in that conversation that you recall? She, it was a while ago, but she was crazy. She got disrespectful. She, she got disrespectful she, towards she, she the end. She basically made like a comment like, take care or leave. If you're not willing to accept this, then yeah. blah, blah, blah. She basically bad you and sold to yeah. you. And it, it just couldn't never go back after that. Yeah. Man. And you know what she said? She said, you're not the other guys. Because I said, I was like, well, if you could fuck a guy that you, she, and she told me those are ain't shit guys. See, that she said those ain't yeah, shit guys. Yeah, that, that, and so that, I was that, like, why would you fuck ain't shit guys right away? Why, why would you make the guy you actually are interested that's wait that's that's and fuck the guy that ain't shit? That was her logic. And I felt insulted because I'm like, you're going to fuck a guy that you feel ain't shit, but you're going to make the guy that you feel is worth it wait. Let's make this make sense. No, you said they're not being honest. They, no, they, she wasn't. They, they, they value, like you said, the bad boy because they don't feel like they're going to get another shot at him. Yeah. So that, that's the truth. She didn't and she was attracted. Truth. At that point, it was just blatant attraction. With me, she was like, eh, I could do it. I can wait. I can wait for Because she had a side dick baby, anyway. Baby. She had a side dick, bro. So, so yo, man, baby, though, nigga ain't acting out right. <laughs> 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 you know, on a slow Tuesday. <laughs> you know, nigga ain't acting out right. <laughs> you know, on a slow Tuesday. Uh, you know. And, and we having sex only once a month type of shit. <laughs> And it's like, nah, that's not working for my dude. That's not working for nobody. That's not working for no real man, so. That's exactly what was going on. <laughs> Pathetic. And, and, and some of you guys are in those type of relationships, so you guys shouldn't be laughing. Some of you guys are in that, and you're happy I in that. <laughs> that the girl is only fucking you when she wants to fuck you, and it's once in a book. Because she already has other dick on the side, so she don't need your dick. So, you know, the whole purpose of this is, is that, you know, women are essentially keeping themselves single, okay? Mm -hmm. Because they have adopted, sadly, a very malfunctioned viewpoint of how to conduct themselves with men, yeah. okay? Men that they're into, they give it up right away. Mm -hmm. But they'll say, oh, he ain't shit. They'll badmouth those men to good guys, guys that they want boyfriend material. Because they know that they're going to get what they want from those guys. They're going to get offended. They're going to feel good at the moment. They're going to be like, oh, he cares about me. Yeah. But I'm not giving him no pussy. And guess what? <laughs> just like the Power Rangers, these guys are like, what night? Like, like they'll just power up right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, like, Lincoln, she going to fuck Gannon go for the end of the night. So <laughs> it, don't matter. it don't really matter. It don't matter. <laughs> yep. It don't matter. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I always say that it's disrespectful for men to put other men down and for men to back women up when you're clearly backing the wrong side. Yep. Okay? She'll tell you she wants Prince Charming, but she's not attracted to Prince Charming. No, Charmin. she's attracted to the bad boy. And you know why she's attracted to the, to the guys that she doesn't know she's ever going to see again or in the moment that, that initial lustful attraction is because at the end of the day, those guys are doing whatever the hell they want to do. You see, the thing is, is that ladies and gentlemen, and you ladies know what I'm talking about, Guys that are about themselves, guys that have even displayed toxic traits, they're more attractive because they're doing dumb. And that's what makes you feel good. You feel good because you're not their center of attention. Period. Okay? You're, they're able to conduct that masculine behavior. Okay? Because a guy that's all about himself, there's that masculinity that's involved. A guy that's all about you is feminine. Because guess what? You're the one that's supposed to be all about him. 
And that and that's what you guys say you want. Like you guys say you want a servant, but they're not really attracted to those type of guys. Because that's their role. Mm -hmm. Period. But anyways, guys, that's one. Well, we're not done with the video. Uh -huh. We're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got you. Don't say it. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next point that we're going to bring up on this topic is women are not honest about their attraction, okay? They don't want to tell you the truth. There are women that are right now dating you that won't tell you, hey, man, you know what? I just want you to take me out on dinner dates. I want you to show me a good time. I want you to be a shoulder to lean on. But guess what? I'm not really attracted to you. I want you to buy me flowers. But I'm not attracted to you. Be my Valentine's. But I'm not giving you nothing, okay? Believe it or not, there's a lot of women right now that just this Valentine's that passed by mm -hmm. went out with guys that they didn't give no box to. Yeah. They just had a nice Valentine's. These guys went above and beyond while the nigga that they really want is with another girl during Valentine's Day. Yep, he's a, he's a she's a side chick to the other nigga that she really wants. And she just decided to pass time with your ass. And she's okay with that shit. She would rather be the side chick than to fucking... <laughs> and the reason why they do this of what we're talking about is self-preservation, yeah. okay? They want to make sure that they can get the best of both worlds. They don't want to be viewed negatively by society. They're not going to get the attention from you. They're not going to get the flowers, the candy, the gifts, and the dates from you. They're not going to get the, their full investment if you know their true nature of, like, taking advantage of guys they don't like. And it's, like, I'm not saying they're evil people. That's just human nature. That's their nature. They're going to... Try to get the best. Anyone will take advantage of you if you allow them to. If you to. act naive, they're going to take advantage of you. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And, and it's I'm not just women. It's not coming from a place of hate. Yeah. It just is what it is, guys. You got to recognize the signs of attraction when she's attracted to you, when she's not, her behavior. And it's not just what she says from her mouth. She can be say, tell you that she loves you and she fucking acting crazy this thing, yeah. all this other bullshit. While a girl can say she hates you and giving you the best pussy you ever had, mm -hmm. the wild top, she's riding you day in, day out. But meanwhile, she says, I hate you. It's like we, it's like we said before in our video before. Um, girls take advantage of guys with lack of experience. They, they'll sell them a dream. They'll be like, oh, you're the only one for me. They'll make them feel like they're fucking Superman or above Superman. They'll be like, you're the only one for me. I had a girl that was giving me the craziest compliments, was telling me about the wild sex that we were going to have. He saw it. Yep. Wild sex that we were going to have. But then when it came down to it, she didn't want to come to my crib. And I was like... So, what, you're all talk? Like, I thought you said we were going to make something happen. And she's like, well, I'm not ready yet. And so I was like, well, love, you know, if you find me attractive, as we spoke earlier, I told her. I was like, I fuck girls on the first date if I'm, if I'm really feeling them. And she said, yeah. And she told me that she slept with guys on the first date if she's really feeling them. Yet, on the first date when we had it, she didn't want to come up to my crib. So what is that telling you? She's not interested in me in the way that... No. Correct. And that's not good. And mind you, I posted this on my social media page. I had a bunch, a bunch of white knights and other women saying, oh, you would have had that if you would have just waited a few weeks. You know, all you had to do was get her more comfortable with you. And no. hello, you're missing the point. If she doesn't want to fuck you right away, you're not the one. You're not the one for her, bro. You're not the one that does it for her. So when she sees you, because everybody has this. I don't give a fuck. What Come on. I don't give a fuck what excuses you make. Everybody has this. Everybody's See the person that they will fuck right away on command. Without even thinking about it. Animal instinct, they'll go to that person. And You're on it. You're on it. Jonathan knows a lot of the good interactions that I have with women. And, and I'll tell you, he'll let you know what I mean by good. What happens, Jonathan, when I first meet them on the, on the first date? They're complying with every step of the way. Go, go into your house. Basically, do, catering to you. But you do, do I treat them on dinner dates? No. No. What do you? Where, where do I usually take them? Starbucks. <laughs> If that. Mm -hmm. They show compliance and then it's a, it's a better experience for them. Yep. Show and then what happens? After, then after Starbucks or whatever, what, what do I do? You go back to your crib. Yep. yep. And then after that? Y'all guys enjoy, have a good time, have sex. Exactly. Yeah. We fuck. Yeah. We fuck. If that's a PG way of saying it. Yeah, they fuck, but I was being family friendly. Yeah. <laughs> he was being PG-13. <laughs> well, we're rated M in this bitch for mature. <laughs> But anyways, the point is, it's like he said, they're compliant, they're with it, they're down, they want it. They show you how much they want it. But no, do you think they're going to do that to a guy that they're not interested in? No, they would have been like, nah, I'm going home, um, I got to work tomorrow. They, they don't work for, these bitches don't work for two days. <laughs> I got to work tomorrow. Um, 
Actually, I'm not gonna be alive for a few days. I'm just letting you know. So I'm gonna be told you. I'm guys, going to bed early. Guys, I'm going to bed early, guys, man. Guys, you guys be seeing a flag of the, the chicks not complying to you from early on. And I still insist on going on dates with these women after they flaked on you once, twice, twice three times, and so on. And they so try to change the location of the date. And you guys went along with it, like. And the then they take you to another, another restaurant, and you go along with it, and you pay, and you pay for it. God, we got to do better, guys. We got to do better. But this is why women are single. Again, we're going to tie this up together, all right? The thing is, is that women are single because they are taught that the guys that they're sexually into, they fuck. They're on it. Guys that they see potential, boyfriend potential. You got to work for it. You got to work for it. You got to prove You gotta prove to her that you work for time, quote, unquote. That he worth it. You got to prove that he worth it, girl. You got to take you here. When he, did, when he brought you, girl, what, what trip he took you to? Oh, he didn't take you out? Oh, nah, 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 girl. You could do better than that. <laughs> and that's the problem is you see a lot of this mindset of you could do better than that. Yes, queen, you could do better than that. And the problem with this mindset is it's going to keep you single. It's going to keep you single. Because quality men are not going to be attracted to that. And behavior. the guys that you're fucking, they're really fucking you. Because most of the guys that you're attracted to, they don't want anything to really do with you. They just want you as They act in nonchalant because they really don't give a fuck. And that's what I say. He, what he just said is a very key point, ladies. If you take anything away from this video, take that. Men who act nonchalant with you is because they really don't care. So even if you think you're a bad bitch, to his eyes, you average at best. And you're like, I'm going to prove to him that I'm a bad I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna put it on so bad. <laughs> and gonna... you know what he says? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Meanwhile, the guy that actually wants you, you're making him wait. You're wait. making him... Oh, oh, let, me, let me return his text. Fuck <laughs> Let me think of an excuse. Oh, my mom. Oh, my mom is in town. Right. I tell him that. Oh, my dog died. I tell him that. Oh, I got to be up early tomorrow. I tell him that. Oh, I, I fell asleep early. I tell him that. I fell asleep at, at 6, 7 o'clock in the afternoon. Damn, I was not with family. I couldn't get back to you. I tell him that. Oh, I tell him that. Didn't see your message to me. Oh, 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 oh. Even though, even though they have their phones in their fucking hand 24-7. This is them on their phone. But when your text message went through, you know what they do? They swipe the other way. They don't ignore that. They swipe up. Words even have you on do not disturb, fellas. Yeah. Period. Yeah. But that's why women are single today because they play games with the men that are willing to actually take them seriously. And like you said, they, they, they're not willing to tell God that they're not interested in. I'm not interested because they still want the attention from the guy. They won't get the perks. It. Imagine. I, I'm a chick right now. I'm an ugly looking chick right now. Still I want attention. Chick, I still want attention. If you were dating me, fellas, and you were like, yo, so you go on a date. Imagine if I was honest with you. I'm, remember, I'm playing as a female. And I was like, yeah, you just saying it. And you're like, what you mean? I'm like, you know what? I, I just don't find you attractive. But you know what? Can you take me out to this restaurant I wanted to go to? You know, oh, oh by oh, the way, we could be friends. We could be friends. We could be tell friends. You, tell you all the sentimental no, but that's you. after you, you wine and dine them. Mm -hmm. They won't tell you that right away because if they tell you that right away, you might not take them out. Yep, they let you. They let you wine and dine and them. And then when you talk about going back to your place, like, oh, no, I work early tomorrow. I, I work early tomorrow. If you would have asked me a different day, I would have definitely. Um, oh, I would have been with it. Yep. And then when you try texting them meetups of like, hey, can you, you want to come over to my house? Oh, I can't do it. My dog died. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't do I've it. I've, worked, stuff, yeah. I've been dealing with and you, stuff. And you get, by the way, you get the text late. You get the text. Oh, yeah. You get the text like a day later, hours later. But if you text it on some Bhutani shit, you'll text back right away, guys. That's, yeah. That's another thing that they'll do to keep you hooked. Yeah. As long as you're talking platonic, you're talking the same language. <laughs> because the only language she wants to speak when it comes to other stuff is to the niggas that she's actually feeling. All right? Sexual stuff are only reserved for the guys that she finds sexually attractive. Guys that she finds not it, that's creepy. That's the difference between being a creep and being somebody that is that nigga, okay? Mm -hmm. But anyways, you know, women, you know why you keep yourself single. We already brought up some key factors and key points as to why women are single in the year 2022. And things are going to get worse, fellas. It really is because at the end of the day, you're only going to see... More women trying to go after the same guys that all other women want. Yeah. Women don't want your corny ass. They want, <laughs> I'm, I'm being real, they don't want your corny ass. They want guys that do it for them, all right? I'm sorry, guys, but a lot of you, say you make them dry up, and that's just the truth, yeah. you know? So, anyways, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, 
Leave it in the comment section below. Tell me some of your stories, right? Tell us some of your stories because let's be real. There's a lot of interactions that a lot of men have had where they either friend zone themselves, in your case, or the woman used and abused you. Guys, you, the stories I've heard, people have gotten set up, set up robbed, hurt. Yeah, those are the extreme cases, though. Definitely. Oh, guys, it's because they believe a woman is more into them than what they really think. It's, they, they, they sold on the perception that the woman gives them. They operate through a woman's lens and yeah. they become easy victims. Which is why I say that you have to try to operate your best at a masculine wavelength, all right? Women are supposed to operate through their femininity. You as a man, you're supposed to op operate through your masculinity. Yeah. And the problem is, is that a lot of women, they're advocating to knock down masculine men. Yeah. And at a young age, masculine traits are deemed toxic. It's like Ann said, they don't want you thinking logically. Because when you think logically, it'll become easy. Oh, you're powerful. It'll become easy to identify a female that's not interested in you and, and a female that is interested in you. It's like, it's like yin and yang, black and white. She's interested, she's not interested. Oh, she's not. Based on actions, not on fucking words, guys. I can't stress this enough. Based on fucking actions, guys, not yeah. words. Words means anything, you know? Anything. She'll tell you she loves you, and she don't, she don't want no fucks to do with you. She won't fuck you. Mm -hmm. when, you're, when a woman ain't even fucking you, and you know she something. Loves you, you quote unquote loves you. <laughs> I love you as a friend, man. You're my best friend. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave us your experiences in the comment section below. Like I said, ladies, the way that you avoid these situations that apply to you, because you know who it applies to, if the things I said in this video or Jonathan said in this video, you're doing, you are, that's applied to you. You need to be upfront with the guys that you're interested in and stop wasting your time with guys that you don't find attractive. Don't even go on a date. No. Don't. Go to go on dates for niggas who you are attracted to. So when they take you out, you want to throw your pussy on them, right? Yep. A guy takes you out, slap that pussy on his face. People you're not attracted to, guys, they're not, don't even reply to their messages. No. Don't even give them false hope. The way that you see them invisible in public, they should be invisible in your DMs. They should be invisible on dating apps, okay? Period. Yep. When he asks you out, just be like, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not interested. Yep. Period. Or don't respond. You don't even have to respond to the man. Yeah. Only I'm, match with guys that you're sexually I know you're passive aggressive, so don't respond. That's a better response. Yeah, don't respond. Because <laughs> I know you're passive aggressive, I know your nature, so don't respond. No. Period. Simple. But anyways, guys and girls, thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to the channel. It will greatly help this place grow because we are a small channel. But like I said, we're going to be moving on up. And we want to take you along for the ride. Thank you for watching. And as always, this channel is all about you. Catch you guys on the next video.